Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And today I want to introduce you to another tool that I use, and this one's called Skype. Now, a lot of times you are not going to need this, and if you don't need to use this, then don't worry about it. Just go on, keep working on your site, but realize that if you have a need for it, then come back here and watch this tutorial. Uh, Skype is a program. If um, Well, WordPress is made up of a lot of different files, and a lot of these files are like PHP files. It says .php at the end. And a lot of your WordPress, um, your Word doc processors don't read PHP. They can't open them. And so you need something to open them in order to make changes. Now, I have a good friend of mine, and she's very good with WordPress. Um, she doesn't do any custom coding in the CSS and any of that other kind of stuff. Um, she knows how to use WordPress to get it to make it do the things you want and install plugins. And she got a plugin that will help her uh, put QR codes on, on her site. And she wanted to do this, and it asked her to edit the PHP file. She tried to open the PHP file, and she couldn't edit it. And so I'm going to give you a tool that you can use to edit these files, and we'll show you how that works. The tool I use is called Skype, and I'm going to go ahead and put a link in my blog post going here. And I would go ahead and try this full download here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, the file that she wanted to edit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open the file. And I found the file that I want, this one right here. It wasn't showing up the first time. I had to go and change this so it said all files, so it would show up. And now I'm going to go ahead and open it. And see, it shows up here in Skype. And that you can edit it. Okay, and once you get it, whatever file you want to edit, put in here, and you can just go in and you can type and change things just like you would on a on a regular uh, WordPress server in some ways. Uh, if you click this up, it'll show up your full screen, this full image. Uh, maybe you want to find something, a certain word to change, and then you can go in there and type in whatever it is that you're looking for and it'll find it or you can actually change everything that says like sometimes i'll be changing the colors and i'll go in here and i'll use this to find all of one particular color that i'm changing to another color and i'll just you know use the replace function on that but anyway this is a way that you can open up text file, uh, files uh, code that you may not be able to open up otherwise or you can also go into the plugins itself inside WordPress and you can go in like to the editor like if you want to have the one that's already there and you want to edit it you go ahead and click on the edit button and you can see it opens up the PHP files there and you can edit them there and save it if you edit something that you already have on your site a plugin there I do suggest that you take all this information and save it before you edit it. And that way if you put some edit in and you mess it up, you don't know the code and can't put it back, you just go put back that save file and it'll be there and things will work. Have fun with this. Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers.